kick things off. Here's Stephen Curtis Chapman. to spare a picture of this act like nothing ever happened carry all the money in a coffee can well I've been given more than reasons ever gave away I was a dead man who was called to come out of my grave and I think it's time for making some noise wake the neighbors get the word out about this, try to keep a bird from singing, after it's soared up in the sky, with the sun a cloud of the sky, and it might just shine, think about this, if we really have to give up, the gift of life that will never end, and if we have been filled with a living hope, we're gonna overflow, and if God's grace is burning in our hearts, we're gonna From the Grand Old Opry House in Nashville, Tennessee, it's the Gospel Music Association's 33rd Annual Dove Awards. And appearing tonight, Yolanda Adams, Anointed, Jim Caviezel, Stephen Curtis Chapman, Billy Ray Cyrus, Delirious, Down Here, For Him, Kirk Franklin, Mark Gershmel, Amy Grant, The Katinas, Crystal Lewis, Sean Groves, Jars of Clay, Natalie Grant, Russ Lee, Sarah Groves, Toby Mack, Mercy Me, Mary Mary, Kevin Max, Nicole C. Mullen, Out of Eden, Ginny Owens, Out of the Gray, Nicole Nordeman, David Phelps, Zoe Girl, Point of Grace, Woody Rock, Rebecca St. James, Mark Schultz, 
Selah, Michael W. Smith, Super Chick, Michael Tate, Take Six, Third Day, True Vibe, Kurt Warner, Joy Williams, and Plus One. And now, here are your hosts, two-time NFL Most Valuable Player, Kurt Warner, and Grammy-winning vocalist, Yolanda Adams. on the football field. How do you feel about... I know that's right. How do you feel about being here co-hosting the, the, hey, the, you know, the Dove Awards? Hey, just take it easy on me. I, uh, I am the rookie here. You're the pro. What, well, really? Well, I think so. I mean, you've done the Grammys, mm -hmm. the Stellar Awards, mm -hmm. the American Music Awards. Mm -hmm, I've been at the and, White House. Oh, you've been at the White House? Yes. You know, I, I didn't get to House. go to the White House. The Patriots got to go to the White House. Uh-huh. You know... Even when we beat the Titans, <laughs> I didn't get to go to the White House. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to go to the White House. It's all right. I performed twice, so I helped you out. Twice? Yeah, twice. Oh, well, don't rub it in. Okay. Sore winner. <laughs> okay, let's forget about all this. Look, there's nothing to worry about. Here, it's really cool, okay? All right. All you have to do is have a game plan. You got one, right? Well, Coach always tells me, try not to drop the ball. Uh -huh. And if things get tough, just go long. Well, let me tell you one thing about this. I'm not Whoopi Goldberg, right? <laughs> and this is not the Oscars, right. and we never go that long. Okay? okay? <laughs> so it's time for you to kick it off. You want me to kick it off? Yeah. I'm a quarterback. Yeah, but see, you can do it. Okay, 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 okay. Welcome to the biggest night in gospel music. The culmination of the biggest year of gospel music ever. I'm talking nearly 50 million albums sold. Check this out. One of five teenagers buys gospel music. Sales of gospel music are up 24% this year. And gospel music is leading all music styles in growth. Tonight, we're going to give you a whole lot to fill your plate, and we're going to give you a little bit of everything. In the next two hours, you're going to hear, get this, 19 musical performances. And now, don't forget, we also have awards to present, right. too. So let's get down to business. Absolutely. Her compelling songs open doors to perform at the Sundance Film Festival and Lilith Fair, and she's broadened her horizons with the release of her new album, Something More. Now, he became known as the Christian guy on Survivor, and every week he took his witness into millions of homes. Here are Jenny Owens and Dirk Bean. We're here to learn who will receive the award for Song of the Year. And who got voted off the island. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> nah. Excuse me? Actually, I left all that behind me. I got a new movie coming out in August. Yeah, and? Yeah? Yeah, it's called Gone. Uh, uh, what? It's, it's Gone? It's Gone, yeah. Uh, I thought you said it was coming. No, that's the name of the movie, Gone. Uh, oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> nice. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, we got to get to these nominees for Song of the Year. Michael W. Smith, Lenny LeBlanc, Paul Baloche, above all. Paul Sandoval, Marcus Carell, Mark Trey Daniels, Noah C. Bernardo Jr., alive. When I call on Jesus. Nicole C. Mullen, call on Jesus. Stephen Curtis Chapman, God is God. God of wonders beyond us. Third day, Mark Bird, Steve Hindelong, God of wonders. Mercy Me, Bart Millard, I Can Only Imagine. Stephen Curtis Chapman, Jeff Moore, Live Out Loud. 
Sela, Dan Burgess, press on. Rebecca St. James, wait for me. And Sean Groves, welcome home. Hey, you know, Dirk, I think the best way for us to do this is for me to open it and you to read it. All righty. I can only imagine. Bart Miller. Standing in the sun, I can only imagine. And then all I would do is forever, forever worship you. I just want to thank Jesus and uh, my wife and my son Sam and uh, the rest of the guys in the band. I love you guys. And uh, Brick House, INO, uh, Third Coast, Pete Kipley, Brad Burkhardt, Al Kim, Velvet, uh, all the staff and Salesforce at Word Distribution and WIA. You guys are unbelievable. Um, uh, radio, God bless you. Retail, uh, once to Amy, uh, just for your influence, is unbelievable. Uh, Audio Adrenaline, you guys have believed in us for a long, long time. Uh, Alan Weed for believing in us, and Light Touch, one of my favorite bands, and uh, Mark Nicholas, Daniel Marlin, Andy and Shane, the guys on the road, God bless you. Shepherd Ministries, Mark Matlock, David uh, McDaniel at Wisdom Works, and all my friends and fans. And once again, just uh, keep worshiping our Father in Heaven. That's what it's all about. Thanks. Last year, this group was honored as the New Artist of the Year. Since then, they've appeared in 100 cities, released a fast-selling second album, guest starred on Touched by an Angel, and gone through a lot, and I mean a lot, of hair gel. Please welcome <laughs> Plus One. Thank you. What's up, everybody? My name is Nate Cole. Tonight, each of us will have the pleasure of introducing the nominees for New Artists of the Year. We begin with the group that's been touring with us and is currently on tour with us. Their name means a God kind of life, and we've definitely seen these three ladies bringing audience to life everywhere they go. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. It's Zoe Girl. St. James when the 33rd annual Dove Awards continues. Welcome back to the 33rd annual Dove Awards. Now everybody needs to 
to sit up and look sharp because this telecast could reach more than 100 million homes. Tonight's presentation is being aired live around the world through the efforts of PAX TV and the Armed Forces Network. Never have... Never have so many had the opportunity to watch the Double Awards live. Man, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Now, if music is a universal language, that means worship music must be the universal language of faith. Lately, a new wave of praise and worship music has swept the world. To underscore its global impact, our next pairing of artists come from Australia and Great Britain. In a moment, we'll hear from Rebecca St. James, whose current album carries a title that says it all, Worship God. But first, here's a British band that turns stadiums into sanctuaries. Here is Delirious. <laughs> Sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever.
Coming up next, a performance by Kirk Franklin here on the 33rd Annual Dove Awards. Welcome back to the 33rd Annual Dove Awards. Here's female vocalist of the year. She's also one of the most regarded lyricists in Christian music today. She's joined by a preacher's kid who's grown up to appear in Disney's upcoming movie, Country Bears, and became also the opening act for the Backstreet Boys. Go, girl. Please welcome Nicole Norderman and Crystal Harris. <laughs> First and foremost, you'll say Jesus. I tell you what, y'all. He has blessed me being here. He has blessed me. And I know he's blessed these, these artists we're about to talk about right now. Welcome, by the way, to your first Dev Awards. Thank That's you very much. Very, very exciting. I'm glad to be here. Anything different about this experience for you or? It's just, it's, everything's Christ-filled, but there's just a lot of Christ-filled people here tonight. That's know? true. It really doesn't matter, does it? Just Oak Ridge Boys, Backstreet Boys, Newsboys, it's, it's all kind of the same after a while, isn't it? Well, you know. It's a little strange. And it would be, be even more odd to have them all in this same next category, Group of the Year. That's true. And the nominees are... Woo! It's on the Point of Grace And the Dove Award, Dove Award for yeah. Group of the Year. Third day. Okay. Third, Third day. <laughs> Raise your hand if you voted for us. We're taking you to Shoney's after this. Come on now. Thank you all so much. Man, this is unbelievable. Um, we uh, we want to thank uh, Essential Records, our, our label, for just doing such a great job of, of pushing our records. And uh, CAA, our booking agency, uh, Creative Trust, our management. There's so many people involved in helping us to do what we do. This. Uh, this is not just for third day, it's, it's for everybody who helps us, and most of all to the fans. We've been uh, together for 10 years. This is the 10th anniversary for third day. And, uh, and yeah, thank you. And we uh, wrote this record, Come Together, um, because for going on the road and seeing so many people um, across the country coming together uh, despite denomination walls and, and setting those aside. All of us, we grew up in different different backgrounds, different denominations, and we are a small example of what the body of Christ, of, of what the church can do, of laying aside those denomination walls and coming together in the name of Jesus. So thank y'all so much. We love you. Thank you. That's the Momo Jones, our producer. We love you. This next, next artist has quickly become a favorite of mine after helping us with an outreach in St. Louis. You know, and after doing that, I still catch myself at home going, woo, woo, can you hear me now? Woo, woo, here we go now. Sorry, 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 sorry. 
Sometimes it just takes over. Sorry about that. But in a second, you'll see exactly why as we take a minute to witness the rebirth of Mr. Kirk Franklin. How y'all doing? How y'all doing out there? Thank you, Kirk Franklin. Double Awards live from Nashville. When we return, a performance by Jars of Clay. To introduce our next nominee for New Artist of the Year, here's Jason Perry of Plus One. Five years ago, this artist was teaching high school students in Minnesota. Slowly, she graduated from performing her compositions as a hobby to national acclaim for her thoughtful songwriting. Here she is, Sarah Groves. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed, the wrong side of the room, the wrong side of the world. I can't put my finger on this mood It's not melancholy, anger, or the blues And I love my husband, my house, my job It couldn't be any better And really, what else is there? Then I realize I'm forgetting God That's the root of all my misery Lord, first of all, how is it? Between you and me Oh, how is it between us, Lord? How is 
To recognize the GMA Radio Stations of the Year, please welcome Take Six. Good evening. We figure that uh, we would give the old Take Six flavor on this. A little acapella, guys? Take it away, Ben. Winners, small market. Two, three. KLRC. General Manager, Sean Sawatsky. <laughs> Winner, Media Market. KTSYFM, Boise, Idaho. Michael Agee. <laughs> Winner. Large market. But Tulsa, Oklahoma. David Stevens. Winner, major market. Two, three. 104.7 The Fish do, do, do. Atlanta, Georgia Atlanta, Georgia Atlanta, Georgia Okay, okay guys, okay Georgia. Okay guys, 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 guys That's Alan Power Congratulations My wife wishes I could sing like that. Everywhere you go, you hear the music that these guys make. They're on the radio, on TV, in the movie theaters, and they're here with us tonight, performing their 14th number one song. Let's hear it for Jars of Clay. I'm 
special performance by an all-star choir. The gospel music industry doesn't recognize all-stars like the NFL, but if they did, my lovely co-host would definitely make the cut. Here is the phenomenal Yolanda Adams. The sheer talent of this duo has brought them universal acceptance in mainstream music without compromising their convictions. 
They're joined by a singer who just released a solo gospel album while still at the top of his R&B career with the group Drew Hill. To present our next award, Mary Mary and Woody Rock. We're here to present the award for Male Vocalist of the Year. Ooh, am I nominated? Didn't your record just come out about a couple months ago? Oh, man, I thought it might be one of those predestination things. <laughs> but, but I thought you was Baptist. Oh, man, you got me, you got me. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the nominees for the Male Vocalist of the Year are... There will be no more David Phelps. Michael W. Smith. And Stephen Curtis Chapman. And the Dove Award goes to... <laughs> Mac Powell. Thank you. This, this, is, this is just stupid. <laughs> Y'all, thank you so much. It is uh, just from a, a guy who is a huge fan of Christian music and who has uh, been encouraged so much by it, by so many of you who are here tonight, uh, uh, Michael and Steven. Um, you guys are male vocalists of the century. So thank you so much. And, and, and Mark and, and David, you guys are so incredible. Thank you for your music and for what you do. Uh, um, there's so many people to thank. It's, I'm going to forget it, so I'm not even going to try to thank everybody. But uh, thank you to Mama for getting me up every Sunday morning and making me go to church. Uh, Thank you, thank you to Daddy for uh, for teaching me all those Leonard Skinner and Jim Croce and James Taylor songs. <laughs> uh, to my my bestest friends in the world in Third Day, I cannot, I wouldn't have this without them. They're my best friends in the whole world. And, uh, from my little girl Scout, uh, hopefully who's watching us, Scouter, I love you, baby. Uh, and my wife Amy. You're amazing. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this. And uh, most of all, uh, to Jesus for saving us all, for dying on the cross for us. And thank you all. In a minute, you're going to hear from a cast of artists who joined together to record an anthem of faith as a hopeful response to the tragedies of the past year. To introduce that song, we've, we're so honored to have a very special guest with us. You may know her name, Shauna Prosser. On December 5th, her husband, Staff Sergeant Cody Prosser, was one of three members of a Special Forces unit killed in Southern Afghanistan. In their three years of marriage, Christian music came to provide a bond between them as they grew in their faith. Since his death, it has been a source of comfort and encouragement. Please welcome Shauna Prosser.
Everything my husband did, he did with his whole heart. Cody was fully committed to his job and to his mission of serving our country. We were baptized together two years ago, and since that time, our commitment to God was growing as he strengthened our lives and our marriage. One little phrase ties these commitments together, four simple words that Cody lived by that helped me to go on and that serve as a reminder to all of us. In God, we trust. Over the mountains of freedom As we are living and breathing Counting the blessings that fall on us all We go down into the valley before us Singing and shouting our chorus Joining the armor of light That we let it know For we know that we are nothing without Thank you. 
come, including a performance from Third Day on the 33rd Annual Dove Awards. Welcome back to the 33rd Annual Dove Awards. To introduce our next nominee for New Artist of the Year, here's Nathan Walters of Plus One. Just a few, yeah, just a few years ago, this singer-songwriter was making copies of songs created by other writers at a Nashville publishing house. Then he began setting his own life to music, and something definitely clicked because he was nominated for five Dove Awards tonight. Here is Sean Groves. Welcome to this heart of mine. Buried under prideful vines Grown to hide the mess I've made inside of me Come decorate, Lord, and open up the creaking door And walk upon the dusty floor And scrape away the guilty stains Until no sin or shame remains And spread your love upon the walls And occupy the empty halls Into the man I am has faded No more doors of Barricaded, come inside this heart of mine. It's not my own. Make it home. Come and take this heart and make it all your own. Welcome. You've seen him in movies such as Frequency, Pay It Forward, High Crimes, and starring as the Count of Monte Cristo. He's here tonight as a real-life friend of the four musketeers of Christian music. Welcome Jim Caviezel and for him. We're excited to be presenting this award with our good friend, Jim Caviezel, one of the most incredible actors in Hollywood. And, um, and uh, we, we've gotten so close to him that we've considered making him the fifth him. But if we, but if we did, we would have to change the name of our group. And, um, uh, well, I don't know what we would... Uh, How about plus one? Uh, that, that's already taken. It's been, been done. Good try, though. Yeah, anyway. Well, as you know, he's a great actor, but he's also a man of faith, a guy who brings a positive influence to his convictions. I'm glad to be with these guys that I've known and, and admired for the last 10 years, and I keep their music with me often uh, while I'm on the sets. And, uh, well, great to be here with you guys. God bless you. Thanks, buddy. Here are the nominees for Female Vocalist of the Year. CC Winans. Natalie Grant. Nicole Nordeman. Rebecca St. James. And the uh, Oscar goes to... Wait. No, not the Oscar. <laughs> no. That's what you want. Dove. And the Dove Award goes to... Dove. Just kidding. If I can get it out, I think cool. I see what it says. Nicole C. Muller. <laughs> Yeah, that's... 
incredible. Wow. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we live, we move, and we have our being. I'd like to thank my mom, Mary Jane Coleman. I'd like to thank my manager, Vicki Tunstall. I'd like to thank Amy Grant. I pray that the grace that you've extended to all of us will be shown back to you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'd like to thank Cece Winans. Um, uh, I'd like to thank the women of faith that have gone before us. I like what, what was said over in Proverbs 31, 30. It's as charm is deceptive, beauty is fleeting, but a woman that fears the Lord shall be praised. That's our goal, amen. <laughs> This group was honored as both Group of the Year and Artist of the Year. And you're about to see why it's all come together for Third Day. With our next nominee for New Artist of the Year, here's Plus One's Gabe Combs. There are many artists who graduated high school with a 4.0 average, served as student body president and yearbook editor, and have blazed up the charts with three top ten songs from a debut album. But you're about to meet one. Here's Joy Williams. Cause 
on the 33rd Annual Dub Awards, Toby Mack. <laughs> to introduce our final nominee for New Artist of the Year, here's Jeremy Meyer from Plus One. This next band formed at a Bible college in Saskatchewan, Canada. Just received a Juno Award. Okay. And that is the Canadian equivalent of the Grammy. And they've migrated down south since, taking the U.S. by storm. Give it up for down here. People are gathered to watch the Dove Awards, but I can't imagine a crowd any rowdier than the fans I'm about to connect you with. Let's head over to Opry Mills here in Nashville and talk to Kevin Max. What's up, Kevin? Hey, Yolanda. Um, they caught me walking around here. I was at the NASCAR thing again, um, spending too much time. Uh, but anyways, I stopped by and, and was w listening to this band, and I'm, I'm applying for the job as road manager. This is uh, Super Chick from the record karaoke superstar Rocky! Like 
young women face a world of challenges today. The group we're about to welcome is making a difference by hosting Girls of Grace conferences designed specifically to encourage teenage girls. Joined by the Tennessee Chorale Academy, here's Point of Grace. Our next presenter isn't a real doctor, he just plays one on TV. Please welcome PAX TV's doc, Billy Ray Cyrus. Thank you, it's an honor to be with y'all tonight. Uh, my papa was a Pentecostal preacher and my dad had a gospel quartet called the Crownsman Quartet. So. I've been around gospel music all my life, but I gotta say, this has been one of the finest shows I've ever seen in my entire life here tonight. The talent's amazing. 
Speaking of talent, I've had the uh, opportunity recently to work with two of your finest stars. Uh, C.C. Winans just uh, wrapped up an episode of Doc, which is going to be airing real soon. And another guy I'm going to let you take a little uh, peek at here is one of the finest actors, singers, songwriters I've ever met in my entire life. Check him out. Stephen Curtis Chapman. Here. Justin, what did I just say about no horsing around? I'm getting sick and tired of this. Do you want a white slip? The guy's amazing. Working with new talent is, uh, is a great pleasure for me, and that's why it's such an honor to uh, get to announce the nominees for New Artist of the Year here tonight. Down here. Joy Williams. Zoe Girl. And the Dove Award goes to... Zoe Girl. First of all, thank God for bringing the three of us together. He really knew what he was doing, and um, we'd love to thank Sparrow Records, EMI, oh my gosh, there's so many people, Corden, uh, CAA, Proper Management, thank you guys so much for believing in us. And also, um, the people that have encouraged and guided and supported us our entire lives through all our musical endeavors, our parents, we love you all so much. Thank you. Hi, Mom. And also, we just... We just want to dedicate this tonight. We want to dedicate this tonight to all the amazing Christian musicians that aren't here and may never be here because they're worship leaders in their church or missionaries. This is really for them. This is for them tonight. Thank you so much. And to my fiance, Ryan, I love you. Good evening. My name is Michael Tate. And uh, thank you very much. I am the... Uh, front man for a new band called Tate, in front of us, and another little small trio called DC Talk. Uh, tonight I have the wonderful privilege of introducing one of my longtime best friends, my close buddy. I'll get emotional, so I better hurry up, you know. He's a good guy. He's okay for a Caucasian. He was my first true, my first true white friend and my first true best friend. Would you please welcome the very talented, the man who deserved the producer award tonight, and everything else he got, Mr. Toby Mack.
made to the promised land. by Nicole C. Mullen and the award for Artist of the Year. Welcome back to the 33rd Annual Dove Awards. Last year's visit to the Dove Awards turned out to be pretty well for our next performer. <laughs> she walked away with five Dove Awards, including Songwriter of the Year and Song of the Year for her composition, Redeemer. This year, she's up the ante with, set, with eight nominations, and she's already won a few of them. So, please welcome Miss Nicole Mullen!
favorite Christian music was recorded and recognized as, a, recognized as a genre all its own. We were introduced to the brown-eyed girl with the guitar, and you know sometimes she performed barefoot too, who created a musical legacy unlike any other. Please welcome the sweetest woman I know, Miss Amy Grant. <laughs> You know, as we age, <laughs> we get more reflective and start thinking about what lasts. Artists start thinking about music that will stick with listeners for years, perhaps even have, make a difference in their lives. Through the years, the award for Artist of the Year has been presented to some true legends. The Imperials, Sandy Patty, Rich Mullins, and in a moment, we'll learn who joins that roster here, and the nominees tonight for Artist of the Year are... Michael W. Smith. When I call on Nicole C. Mullen. P.O.D. Stephen Curtis Chapman. And third day. And the Dove Award goes to Michael W. Smith. Thank you. I'll tell you, um, I was just telling, um, uh, I'm just a little overwhelmed at the, um, uh, how God is so good to all of us. We have so much to be grateful for. And my wife, Debbie, my parents, my kids, Reunion Records, and my management, Chaz, Mike, Dan, Jen. I mean, the list goes on. But I kept thinking, and I really was honest when I said this, when I was telling somebody, I really could care less if I won one of these. And I'm at that place in my life that, that um, I just want to pour my life into people. I want to, um, I, I just want to pour my life into people. That's all I want to do is serve. And I've been so encouraged this week by artists and how we've unified. And I'm real encouraged. And, uh, and, and I, I know this is, up on, I'm up here with this thing because of worship, because of this record. And there's too many things to think about. 9-11 and, and all the miraculous things that's happened with it. God has used this record to heal people all around the world. And I'm just grateful that he took a little runt from West Virginia. And he gave him a platform. And I just give him all the praise and glory and honor. And I love you guys so much. God bless you. you. One of the greatest challenges for writers and artists is to take a very familiar idea, like heaven, and bring it to life in a fresh, new way. There's no question that these guys have exceeded beyond their wildest dreams. Performing the powerful hit, I can only imagine, here's Mercy Me. Oh, 
I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face is before me. I can only imagine. I can only imagine when that day comes and I find myself standing in the sun. I can only imagine when all I will do is forever, forever worship you. I can only imagine, yeah. Surrounded by your glory, one will my heart be? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees, or will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all? Yolanda, what an amazing evening this has been. Oh, yeah. It's been a true blessing to be able to be here and co-host and, and enjoy this night with you. And we're almost done. 18 performances down, one more to go. Well, I have to thank you for allowing me to come and <laughs> hang out with you, too. Hey, but Anytime. we want to thank everybody here for joining us, especially you at home. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to go out in style. Let's welcome Mr. Michael W. Smith.